Hey boys and girls, this is Mr. Rudd at Howard Elementary again, talking about volley skills. We'd like you to contact the ball, learn how to contact the ball four different ways. Underhand volley, overhand volley, underhand strike, and overhand strike. This session is underhand volley. Okay, I'm gonna give you the end result. This is what we want right here. Looks pretty fun and it looks pretty easy, but it takes a lot of work. A couple success criteria that you have to do to get that is hands and wrist, straight and simple. Now there's lots of ways of putting your hands and wrists together. I have one that's better than all of them. It gets your platform flat, all right? So let me get a board here. We want to try to get your arms like a board and hit off the board. That, is, that creates a platform. Let me get a balloon and show you. All right. And this is pretty easy. If we all had boards in our arms, our platform would be nice and straight. So if we could create that with our arms, we're in business. So, we want to get a flat platform, and the way you put your hands together is re really important. So I'm going to call that criteria hands and wrists. First thing you want to do, get your hands parallel. Then you want to turn them so they're 90 degree angle, all right, or perpendicular. The bottom hand, you, put, you want to put the thumb of the bottom hand on top of the top hand and put the other thumb together. That creates a flat platform. Now, if I put my hands together any other way, it creates a bubble at the end. We want a flat one. In saying that, we want to contact the ball above the wrists. So if I set the ball on my arms, we want it here, but it happens to go lower, it's still flat. So hands and wrists. The other one is straight and simple. We've got to lock them arms and work from the shoulder. So if we start doing this, we're in trouble. I would suggest starting out with a balloon. Let me grab one here. Use a balloon and work on your two success criteria. Hands and wrist, straight and simple. The third success criteria is the force. If you want it to go higher, you just give it a little more gas. Underhand volume, the force is controlled by your arms. All right, so let me show that again with a ball. I'm going straight up so my arms are straight up in the air, my reflection straight up. Now, if I was playing with a partner, my reflection would be this way. All right, so I'm going to show it against the wall. I just changed my reflection and pass against the wall. All right, that's a lot of fun once you get up. It takes a lot of practice. Good luck. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to email me.